45 in the morning. I just finished editing uh, uh, the la uh, the most recent episode of uh, Big Bang Theory. It's gonna go up uh, in a few minutes. Well, not for me. In about an hour, it will finish rendering. So uh, basically, after it's finished rendering and it's going up to uh, YouTube, I will give you a shout out and say, hey, yeah, it's going up to YouTube. And uh, yeah, sort of. You can sort of see when these things are gonna happen because it's gonna be on a timestamp. And I'm, I think I'm getting more used to the editing process. I did something new in it today. And the goal is, is if, if I can keep doing something new every week, putting new features in, uh, I think that's a good pace. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep it up. But I think that's a good pace to keep moving things forward. So uh, we'll kind of see how things go. And uh, yeah, see you when this is finished rendering. And uh, it's going up to YouTube. All right, take it easy. Yeah, it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, and everything just finished uploading, so now it's time to uh, push the Big Bang Theory RL. This episode of, uh, you yeah, this episode of it, out on the social networks. That way, people who are just getting up or going to get up for the day will we'll see what I've done. Uh, but, of course, uh, I should be heading off to a bed in about uh, two, yeah, two hours or so. It'll take me two hours to sort of get everything out. Anyway, you know how it goes. See you in the next segment. Alrighty, it's uh, Monday, September 3rd. It's 23 hours into the day. So, yeah. Oh, was there early enough? I'm just getting started. Uh, sort of. Uh, I spent the weekend, uh, the weekend uh, was a 30 plus hour weekend, if not more, but uh, yeah, 30 plus hours. So yeah, just about two days worth of, uh, uh, of work over the weekend, cleaning, uh, reorganizing, looking at different things, and see uh, if there's a better way of doing things in terms of getting uh, a, a larger volume of work out during the week, so that's going to be attempted this week to see what I can do. I've rearranged things. I realize that uh, I, I need to sort of redo how, uh, rethink how I do things, and uh, basically try to adjust the flow so that it's not as uh, it's not as difficult to get the work done. But that being said, that's what we'll see during the weekend. We'll see well, during the week. We'll see what happens. Over the weekend, I ended up going to a wedding. Uh, my friend is uh, his, his friend's wedding. Uh, no one since he was little. Uh, his name is Andrea uh, Andrea Carastinos. And congratulations to you and your wife, uh, Afanasia, for your marriage. And yeah, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good wedding. Uh, like most big weddings, it's pretty large. Uh, there was about, uh, I think, about 320 people there, approximately. So yeah, that's that's about the average size for a Greek wedding. It's pretty large. It's pretty, you know, you know, the uh, pretty big. But if you use that type of thing, and I am, it's uh, I think that's uh, pretty cool. I think it's you know, uh, I have no problems with the large weddings at all. So. Yeah, it was good. He even had a uh, flyover because he's with the Canadian Armed Forces. Uh, he even had a flyover of a couple of jets uh, from the air show, so that was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, but so it was, all along was a really good weekend. So this is getting the, you know, 
but as they got back uh, Sunday night around 11, and then just ended up going right to bed, and uh, I spent until basically, what is it, uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, 5 o'clock sleeping. So like, uh, I cut off on, uh, on enough of my sleep so that uh, now I can start the day, the week fresh and to sort of uh, see how far I can push myself. One of the things you get at some of the weddings, some, some of, they always give you gifts at the wedding. And this is one of the things we got. He's got a wine bottle here with uh, his wife's name and his name on it. So this is here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's uh, what it did the weekend. The week coming up now, well, I'm going to film everything. So you'll be able to see what's going on. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next segment in a couple hours. So take it easy. All right, bye. Yeah, it's uh, just about 9.30 in the morning. Yeah, Tuesday, September 4th, uh, 2012. It's been another long night. And, well, no longer night, it's now it's at, uh, 9.30 in the morning. And fatigue has definitely set in. Uh, this Things are going okay. Getting more work done. done. Uh, not what I expected to get done, but uh, still, non nonetheless, uh, things progress, things push forward, and uh, I've got some new targets to meet at the end of the week. I've made some corrections and testing uh, on some of the filming I've done. Basically, one of the documentaries that I was filming, uh, well, uh, that I was filming in the back room, I have to sort of retool, reshoot a little bit, and sort of fix things up so that there is a smoother flow to the uh, to the documentary. I also have to work on some of the uh, issues uh, dealing with uh, Caden Live in terms of what I can and can't do as a, uh, uh, when I'm doing video editing. The problem pop up when there is a relatively small file or a test file. The problem becomes uh, more of an issue when there's a large file, basically 20 minutes and above. That's when a lot of the issues start to pop in. And uh, they really have, I have to sort of find a way to uh, deal with them. But that being said, this thing is that, you know, I don't think that's going to slow me up too much. I'm getting the production back into order again. That it's been a rather long weekend. Uh, and, and if you've noticed, uh, that there is no weekend off. There's no real time off other than a few hours here a few hours there, and that's kind of my sleep vacation. Uh, so the time I take off is not rather days, but actually a couple, uh, a couple hours here, a couple hours there, and that kind of represents my my what I call my downtime, where I'm not really doing much of anything. But even when I'm not doing something, <laughs> it is kind of like. Uh, when Leonard was uh, asked by his his uh, surgeon girlfriend what he did all day long, oh, I thought about this and I thought about that, and then I took a little bit of a nap and thought some more. <laughs> uh, there's that to a certain degree, but also uh, because you're thinking about things, even when you're sleeping, uh, the ideas start mulling, start running through your head. Uh, if you're li like I am and you do lucid dreaming, then it's possible to continue working on your research uh, while you're asleep. So, <laughs> the, what we call time off and time down is rather relative. And uh, if you don't get used to if you're not the person who gets used to things like this or used to. Uh, or pushing itself to these degrees or this limit, 
that certainly can make for some rather uh, life-changing experiences in that uh, basically thinking on this level of thinking of the that, uh, it, it, being on for that amount of time can actually kind of drive you crazy but uh, <laughs> the question is whether I'm already there or not or you know remains to be seen but yeah I, I'm having a good time I watch a lot of these uh, 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 these videos and just sort of watching on YouTube and just kind of comments around sort of post something about this later on uh, it's about all these, uh, and I've come across them every now and again, it's about these nerd things, about uh, how kids are feeling of left out and alone and this and that. And they always sort of create these videos where somebody's uh, crawl, uh, you know, curled up in the corner of a room, you know, rocking back and forth. And, you know, I've, my, my experience has never really been that bad, I mean, in terms of that's the, that, that was sort of my end result for these things. Uh, I did ha experience a lot of uh, rejection in my life as a nerd, but I don't, I don't know. It, 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 there's enough positive things in my life, or at least I, I, I had the view there was enough positive things in my life, that as long as I focused on the positive, then the negative didn't really seem so bad, and it was, you know, whole hump. Yeah, everyone in high school went out to parties while I was, uh, when I, while I was doing uh, puzzles in, in, in my basement. Uh, people were out Fridays and Saturdays while, again, while I was doing puzzles and reading in my basement working on my company. Uh, in other words, my life has, has been anything but normal. And I guess when it's been like that since grade one, you kind of, kind of, grow to expect that the normal or, or the, the not normal is going to be your normal so it doesn't kind of phase you it, it doesn't phase you phase you but it would if you you know you're, you let's say up until grade six grade seven you're really popular and then all of a sudden uh somewhere between uh, uh seven and grade nine grade seven and grade nine all of a sudden you lose all your friends and you know what you were all along from grade one it kind of pops up and uh, you now become that uh, uh, in terms of losing your friends in the uh, uh, last years of high, uh, junior high or, or what your first years of high, uh, of high school. That could be kind of traumatic but uh, if you've gone through it already like I have and so my, my uh, rejection, my social rejection began in grade one then is it, there, there is there's a not so bad side to there's a good side to things where you get to be if you're isolated from society the good part about it the good thing that's on on, uh, on sort of the flip side of the of, of the bad stuff is that you can be your own person you can really start going out and exploring who you want to be in terms of what type of personality that you want. And you can be whatever you want to be because uh, no one's going to care care about what you're doing because you're not part of society anymore. So a lot of barriers are removed into the new form of freedom. But I said, this, this, I said I'll go into this more in depth. This is on Geekalia. Yeah, you can check out the playlist Geekalia. Yeah. It's where I do all my geek stuff on there. In terms of uh, for standing up as a nerd and a geek and saying, hey, here I am, here, uh, there's no need to harm yourself if you become a geek, uh, or along those lines anyways. Uh, and it, what you have currently is you have movie stars, celebrities, and stuff like that standing up and saying, oh, don't worry if you're a nerd, don't worry if no one likes you anymore, uh, it's okay, don't hurt yourself, and stuff like that. But the thing is, is that this is somebody who, as a celebrity, needs their millions of fans. They need their, you know, on to be on TV. This is their, this is their uh, life, and they're not exactly unpopular. Yeah, they get some critics and they get some haters and so on and so forth. But they're pretty much popular people. 
And the thing is, is that the, you kind of ask yourself, well, how does a popular person like that, who's got all these fans around them, understand someone who's going through the the, the nerd type of stuff, like I went through? Um, how do they understand you? How, how do they understand how it feels not to be popular, to not really have the the many friends that uh, uh, as they do? And they don't. And so what happens is that more often than not, you watch these people go, ah, and they talk about, oh, anti-bullying, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be a bully, it's not cool to do bullying, and so on and so forth, and <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. Every year, every school year, somebody uh, harms themselves. Uh, we hear about this, you find these kids in the closet, or what, you know. Uh, hanging from in, in the closet or hurting themselves or, 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 or anything along these lines. Every year this happens and every year they get up and sing and dance and think that, oh, if we make more of a show out of it, things will change. And that's not necessarily the case. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, whatever your background is, there is happiness and happiness is really depending on how, really depends on how you view life. If you see and look at the happy things in your life, then yay, you'll continue on having a happy time. If you only look at the negative stuff, and I know people who've got a, a, a older now, who were popular when they were younger, but at some point in time in their life, they start looking at everything negative. They start seeing the stuff that they didn't have, and that became their biggest concern. And instead of being appreciative of what they had. They only saw the negative, they only saw the bad stuff, and their life became crap, their life became shit. Not because they didn't have anything, it's because they just didn't see it. They, they looked only at the bad stuff they had. So, you know, I, I, I think that the, I, I'm going to be trying to do more along these lines for Geekily, bringing it forward uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, I'm going to retool INN again uh, to bring it to another format to really uh, sort of... What happens with the news sometimes is that the same things happen over and over again. It, there, there really isn't anything new in the news. It's the same incidents over and over again. There's a lot of lying going on in the news. There's a lot of deceit. And you can't go in there every single day and saying that person's lying, that person's lying. There we go, again. he's lying again, he's lying again. Uh, there needs to be something more to it than that. So that's what I'm working on this week. I'm looking at how to sort of re-edit the videos uh, and, and bring a better, uh, more documentary-oriented uh, style to the uh, documentary or a more documentary-oriented style to the channel. And I'll be doing the same thing with DCB Economics TV. So. That's where things are going with that, and so I'll leave it here for now, and it's been about 15 minutes, and I'm getting tired, as you can see, and I will see you in the next episode of Big Bang Theory or out, because I probably won't uh, do another segment. Alright, take it easy. Remember when I said that the last segment would be the last segment, and I'd probably be going to bed around 9.30? Well, it's uh, 12.30 in the afternoon, and uh, guess what? I haven't gone to bed yet, so... I just thought I'd update you. Uh, got the uh, the latest episode up. It's for the 31st. There's going to be a joining of segments over the weekend to bring us up to date, more or less. And then uh, we will continue on the rest of the week uh, with the usual uh, se uh, with, the us with the usual episode, so... We'll go from there and uh, see how it goes. See how everything goes. I'm just doing some updates to the computer. Everything's gone up to the internet. They're out on the social networks now on Facebook, Twitter, um, Tumblr. I have my accounts all over the place there. And I'm going to be upgrading my uh, web presence again uh, either today or tomorrow. So it'll be easier to find me. And if you have any questions or comments, don't forget, leave a, you can leave a written comment below, or you can leave a video comment below uh, if you're one of my YouTube uh, uh, buddies or 
or you, you're a YouTuber, feel free to leave a video comment if you want. And yeah, I'll see you on YouTube. Alright, uh, that's going to be it for now. Uh, I'll see you next episode. Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.